hello everyone welcome back to another informative video in this video we are going to talk some more about greenhouse farming right specifically what type of climate is best for greenhouse crop production now i got this question right this question came in and i decided to you know do a video on it so that everyone can benefit from the information so the question is basically um asking uh in the midst of having um hot climate hot and dry climate can you um establish a greenhouse is greenhouse farming recommended in hot and dry conditions now my first answer to that is Look at the Israelis um, greenhouse crop production. They are, they are in very dry, hot and dry uh, climates, right? And they are doing well, right? Uh, obviously, they have uh, quite a bit of technology uh, working in their favor to control different uh, environmental parameters, right? Now, my answer uh, as a follow-up to that is yes you can um, establish greenhouse crop production in hot and dry climate now of course if you are going to establish a greenhouse in in a hot and dry climate um, then you have to think about the fact that your temperatures will be high so what are you going to do to bring that temperature into a range um, or to arrange that is uh, that the plant that you, the plants that you are planning to grow will 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 survive best in, right? So that is why I said um, you can establish a greenhouse wherever you want, whatever climate, right? Whether it's hot or whether it's cold, as long as you understand wants and understand that these wants are are what wants represent. These different parameters need to be in a specific range for the plant to to be at its its, its uh, optimal pro, um, production or performance so if the climate we are in is hot and dry it simply means you have to provide water and then you have to bring down the temperature to a range that the plant needs or requires now how are you going to bring down that temperature of course with, with, with active, um, having a, a active or, or any kind of added technology to your greenhouse that will um, help to manage the different parameters like temperature, relative humidity, um, CO2 concentration, um, those kind of things. Obviously, it's going to cost more than maybe a, 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 a greenhouse that you don't have to put in all these fixtures that require electricity and, and and you know power right so that is basically what you will have to decide on are you willing to put in that extra um capital to 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 to, to be able to cool the greenhouse in that hot and dry climate and to be able to provide um the water because obviously if it's dry fine nothing is wrong but because you you will be providing water right you'll be providing water for the plants so the dryness, it doesn't really matter. It's just um, the temperature we are talking about now. Are you willing to put in the capital that it requires and uh, um, to, to set up the, 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 the fixtures, the airflow funds? Maybe you'll have to put in a, uh, um, uh, an air conditioning unit to cool the facility. So that, that is where you have to think. That is how you have to think because you are in such a hot climate, right? Um, so... There is also the use of shade cloth. You can use shade cloth. You can, um, just like this greenhouse example that you are seeing here, you can put the shade cloth right on the, right up to where the gable is. Just put it right underneath, um, right at the top of the greenhouse, right inside we are talking, but right up to where the, um, what do you call it, the gable part, right? So it would be, um, so this is inside the greenhouse, right? So it would be, you would put the black mesh up to this this part here and run it run it all the way along um, inside the greenhouse on the top just to be able to block out um, some of the the, 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 the heat right 
or the sunlight coming through so that will be able to you know bring you down a, a few a, not, 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 not many degrees but it will cut down the intensity a bit right so these are the things you can do you can basically um paint the paint the, the greenhouse they have special um they have special chemicals or you can use white lime um you know you can basically spray it onto the, the to the plastic uh, when it's too hot to basically kind of cut down on that um intensity of the sunlight but but more importantly you in in order to grow in that hot and dry climate you have you basically might have to think about um hair conditioning which is going to cool the greenhouse right so if you are in an area where it's 100 degrees fahrenheit right it's very hot right then you know that a cooling system you need a cooling system in order to run that greenhouse that is what you need a cooling system um, with a duct system to run in the greenhouse and cool the greenhouse bring it down to you know um, whatever temperature um, range the crop needs right so that is my answer right with, 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 with doing greenhouse establishing greenhouse in a, in a hot and dry climate you find that you might have to spend a little bit more money right but it is definitely a go you can do it once you have the capital to invest right and um yeah and then when you look in america like united states of america when you look in those sophisticated greenhouse um greenhouse they are everywhere look in israel greenhouses they are in the desert with greenhouses right but the only thing is just to have the different kind of technology and the kind of um um smart systems to to like the air conditioning system to cool your greenhouse right if you're having issues with relative humidity you have the humidifier and these kind of things you, these so once you understand once water hair nutrients temperature and structure once you understand that those and know what the plant requires then you basically find the different components that will basically bring these into range for you and you can grow your crops wherever you want to grow them right so yes you can establish a greenhouse or, or, or build a greenhouse in hot and dry climate right and you know if you have any additional questions please put them in the comments area right you know um ask questions this is this is this is an era that is um, fast growing. It's a fast growing technology and, and industry in the world. And you find that people running out of space, right? And you find that people putting greenhouses, vertical farms in, in urban areas. Urban areas are very hot. You know, they are very hot. You know, um, and, but, but they understand that okay then they have they, they have to they have to put in control systems to control um different things so it's just it's just a bit more expensive if you want to put your greenhouse in a hot and, and dry climate it's just going to be a bit more expensive because of the systems you'll have to put in place right but if you just build a, a greenhouse for example one like this behind me if you just build a greenhouse with no method of cooling when the temperature gets hot your plant is just going to burn up so you have to put in some systems to control different parameters right um yes so uh it, it, it can be done it can be done because even evaporative cooling that is another system that you could use right um you don't necessarily have to use you, you, you can try with evaporative cooling um even before you use uh air 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 conditioning or you know you know units because evaporative cooling the idea is basically to take the 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 the, the, the hair ambient air um from the outside greenhouse running through a, 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 a pad right a cooling pad the pad will basically have in water run, running through it and the hair will basically pass through the water so that hair that is say for example 90 degrees coming from outside once it passes through the water it will basically get 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 cooler right um, because as you know water has high capacity right so the water the here will get cooler before it goes into the greenhouse right so you, so you find that at one end of the greenhouse you have an like a like a um a fan uh, like what we'd call it now um it, it's more like an uh see an exhaust fan like so it will be pulling so at one at this end 
you will have your cooling pads and at this end you'll have a fan pulling the hair here so so the hair will be, be the, this fan will be pulling the hair um pulling the hair and the hair will be coming from outside through the cooling pad with the water and and then exiting outside and cooling in the greenhouse so another thing is if you find that it is not cooling enough you can actually run cool water you can run cooler water through the cooling pads right so it's not no 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 the normal room temperature water going through the cooling pads you are cooling the the, the water now right like for example say a water that you take out of your fridge to drink it's much cooler so you run that through the pads and then the water the, the air coming from outside now with the exhaust fan pulling it it's going to basically the the what the air is going to be much cooler so now you'll have control systems in the greenhouse now to, to check the temperature is it getting it is too cool or you know so there are different methods different ways of cooling the greenhouse but as i said it's all about the capital it's all about how much money you're willing to put in right and and basically understanding the the the, the um the needs of the the, the the crops that you're growing right that will help a lot know what temperature range um root zone temperatures and all these kind of things and it can be done with a little guidance it can be done so as i said if you have any questions any comments please put them in the comments area um please remember to subscribe to the channel and thank you again for um joining me in this video and this is just basically a model greenhouse that i always have um you know so to re um reference to uh and it's basically like a um it has a vent in it right i think i've shown you this before it has a vent in it um and you find that there's a lot of these in in jamaica and the caribbean right but a lot of farmers they'll not put the vent in they'll not put the vent in it right the horizontal vent they'll just have a roof with no vent um and it works for them in certain areas because what they do is they put shade cloth on the side that is maybe about 48 percent so it have large holes so they still have air movement right um but they just put the beer uh greenhouse plastic on top with no vent but i always recommend a vent right because when the hot air rise you want um passive flow passive ventilation the um here rise the the the, the here pass over pull out the the hot air so anyway um yeah um yeah ask some questions so bye bye